no deal Brexit scenario, funding for businesses um, will change in terms of our status with the European Union. So we will no longer be a member state, we will be classed as a third country, so a third nation status. And what that technically means that we will be treated the same as China, India, America, Russia and so forth. Which basically means that we no longer have access to EU funded programmes or any of their funded um, initiatives. What we will need to do is look at um, if there are UK government alternatives, which may be a possibility or there may be um, other scenarios from local government, but that is something that we'd need to see um, close to the time um, after um, we actually leave the EU. So businesses will need to um, understand what the UK guarantee is for EU funded programmes. The UK government guarantee is pretty much saying that, they, that the UK government will underwrite EU funded programmes um, should we um, leave the EU. So in a no-deal Brexit scenario, that would mean that the UK government guarantees to underwrite any funding that the EU will no longer be obliged to pay. To pay. So in that scenario, um, businesses really need to re-evaluate the portfolio of projects that they have, um, how they're funded, and to all intents and purposes understand what they need to do to ensure that it is covered by the UK guarantee. It's really important that they do this and they understand their process that they need to go through, otherwise they could potentially miss out on getting the payment for a project that they've committed to. In a no-deal Brexit scenario, we actually hope that very little will change in the short term um, because almost all of the programmes and the funding for businesses is actually um, over the medium term and all that is contracted and in delivery. So um, even if the funding from Europe goes, the uh, British government has agreed to step in and ensure that that continues. So my message to business is very much, you know, uh, keep approaching us for the support that's there. None of us knows exactly how things will pan out. So uh, from our, our perspective, it's very much a case of ensuring that you know where you're going as a business, you know what the risks are, and if you then talk to the Growth Hub, um, we can certainly make sure that you are um, then aware of the options uh, available to you as a business, even if we don't know exactly what the outcome is going to be. Businesses um, for innovation and funding need to understand that we have a dedicated UK government agency um, for innovation. So there is um, opportunity there for businesses to access funding and support um, through either competitions or loans from Innovate UK and the UK Research um, Agency. So it's important for them to do the research on that for the understanding that there are um, opportunities there for them um, and those are UK government so it doesn't have an impact in terms of the EU and how they're funding that going forward. So for a no-deal Brexit businesses need to um, review their portfolio of funding like we've discussed um, but also they need to look at other funding that's available now that is either available locally or regionally or nationally um, that is not predicated around EU funding. So there are a lot of initiatives coming through um, UK government agencies, for example, um, anything around innovation, research, development, Innovate UK, run a lot of competitions that can help with those um, business aspirations, but also um, globally as well. So it's really important to get a handle on what is available at the moment um, and what is available going forward that is not predicated around um, EU funding. I think businesses need to be uh, planning. I think that they need to have done some kind of risk assessment because I think that will enable them to focus on the areas that um, are particularly vulnerable in No Deal Brexit. Um, there is help out there. Um, certainly the government through Bayes Department for Business um, is delivering a number of roadshows and workshops. Obviously there's the Chamber support. Um, as a growth hub we can offer advice, guidance and signposting. So uh, if a business knows where the risks are, then we can help kind of plug those gaps and give advice and guidance around that. So for businesses to prepare for Brexit in terms of funding and support, they can come to Enterprise Europe Network at the Chamber of Commerce. They can look at the Brexit Health Check as an initial um, review of where they're at and they can also um, speak to the local growth hub which would help them navigate um, some of the funding that's available at the moment. 
The Growth Hub is um, the government funded um, single point of contact for business support, so it's impartial, it's independent, we're simply there to help your business grow and obviously with uh, um, the different variables around Brexit we can help you planning for that as well.